Sometimes we would want to be able to determine the porosity of a soil if we, were, if we knew what the bulk density value was. Or if we knew the porosity of a soil, could we then go back and calculate what the bulk density of that soil might be. So I want you to be able to work with these problems on bulk density and porosity in either direction. That is to say, if you're given the information to calculate bulk density, you should then be able to calculate porosity. And if you were given the porosity of a soil, and we assumed an average particle density of 2.65 grams per cc, I would want you to then be able to calculate the uh, bulk density of that particular soil. So let's take a look at an example of how we might do that. Here is an example of a problem where we are given the porosity of the soil and we want to know what the bulk density of this particular soil would be. So in this particular problem, we're, we're told that the porosity of this soil or percent of pore space is 47%. And we are asked to calculate the bulk density, BD or bulk density value of this soil. Well, we only have one formula to work with here, so let's go back and take a look at how this formula would be utilized. If the soil porosity is 47%, as the decimal, that equals 0.47, then we know that has to be derived from the formula of 1 minus bulk density over particle density is equal to that number. In this formula, we can use x or anything you would like. You can put a question mark there if you don't like x's. But we would use an x to represent the unknown value in this formula, which in this case is bulk density. So then our formula becomes 1 minus x or the unknown over 2.65 equals 0.47. Well, if we look at this, 1 minus some number has to equal 0.47, so this value has to be equal to 0.53. So our formula then would translate into 0.53, which represents the, the decimal form of the volume of solids, is equal to the bulk density, which we don't know, over 2.65. If we cross multiply these and divide to get the unknown by itself, this means that 0.53 times 2.65, the average particle density, would then be equal to this value, the bulk density, which in this case is 1.4. So if, if we know porosity, we can plug that as an answer into this formula, the formula for porosity. That leaves us an unknown for bulk density. We can then solve for that x or unknown by following through these steps in our calculation process. And in this particular problem, we come out soil with a porosity of 47% has a bulk density. I should have put the units here. This is 1.4 grams per cc. The units on particle density are always in grams per cc, and the units on bulk density are also in grams per cc. So those cancel each other out of the formula. Grams per cc divided by grams per cc removes that from the answer. In this case, we're taking a decimal with no units on it times the 2.65 grams per cc. So the unit on our answer here would be 1.4 grams per cc. So with those two examples, one on how to calculate bulk density, put it into the formula for porosity and calculate porosity, and this example on if we knew soil porosity, how could we then go back and calculate bulk density? There are some problems like this for you to, to solve in the lab exercise on this unit. And there are also some problems like these to be solved in your review, review or study questions on this unit. So you should be able to go through and solve those problems both in the laboratory handout as well as on your, your uh, lecture review questions for this particular unit.